Hey everyone! Did you know kids learning videos are huge on YouTube and social media? Creators in this niche are learning tons and reaching millions, and guess what? This type of content never gets old because there are always kids ready to watch, and parents love it too. Why? Because kids are having fun and learning at the same time. So, if you've ever wanted to make your own 3D animated kids learning videos, you're in the right place. Stick around till the end, I'm showing you, step by step, exactly how to create, edit, and bring it all together into one amazing, engaging kids learning video. Let's get started. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Creating Song Lyrics To create an engaging kids learning song, I'll be using ChatGPT. Just go to ChatGPT and ask it to create song lyrics for kids. For example, here's the prompt I used, create engaging song lyrics for kids about the ABCs. It should read each letter and name something that starts with it, like A is. For Apple, the song should be about two minutes long and designed for nursery age children, so make it lively, fun, and easy to remember. Then just hit generate, and in a few seconds, ChatGPT gave us catchy ABC song lyrics. Next, I asked ChatGPT to create detailed image prompts for each line, and in just a few seconds, it generated one for each part of the song. Step 2. Creating Video Clip To bring the image prompts to life, I'll be using Sora. Sora is an advanced AI tool by OpenAI that transforms text prompts into videos and images. It allows creators to bring scenes, characters, and ideas to life with realistic motion and visuals. Sora is often used alongside ChatGPT to turn written concepts into vivid, shareable content. To begin using Sora, copy the first line of the image prompt from the song. Then return to Sora and paste it into the text box. At the end of the prompt, add 3D Pixar style. Next, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 landscape format. Choose a 10 second duration and set the number of variations to 2 to generate two videos at once. Then click Generate and wait for the video to finish processing. Within a few seconds, Sora will provide two video clips based on your text prompt. To save your video clip, just click the download arrow at the top of the video and store it on your computer. Repeat the same process for the next text prompt in the song, copy the next line of the image prompt from the song, paste it into Sora's text box, add 3D Pixar style at the end of the prompt. Make sure you have the same settings, aspect, ratio to 16 by 9 landscape format, set the duration to 10 seconds, choose two variations to generate two video clips, click generate and wait for the videos to be created. Download your clips by clicking the arrow at the top of each video. Continue entering each of your text prompts into Sora until you've created a video clip for every line of the song. Here are the video clips I created using Sora. Be sure to name each one clearly so you can easily edit them later. Step 3. Generating music. To transform our ABC's lyrics to a nursery rhyme music, it'll be using Suno AI. To access Suno AI, simply search for Suno AI on Google. To begin making music in Suno, go to Create. Copy your lyrics from ChatGPT and paste them into the lyrics box in Suno AI. Next, choose the style you want. You can either select a style from the options provided or type your preferred music style in the box. Then, add your song title and click Create. Then, wait for your music to finish generating. In just a few seconds, Suno will provide you with two versions. Click on each one to listen and hear how they sound. Juicy and sweet. Be 
If you'd like more music options, simply adjust the styles and click Create Again. Another two versions will be generated for you to choose from. A is for apple, juicy and sweet. B is for ball that we kick with our feet. C is for cat who purrs all day. D is for dog who loves to play. Come sing the ABCs with me. So much fun from A to Z. With our feet. C is for cat who purrs all day. T is for dog who loves to play. Come sing the ABCs with me. So much fun from A to Z. To download your music, just click the three dots on the right side of the track, select download, choose MP3 audio, and save it to your computer. Now that we have both the music and the video clips, it's time to start editing. Step 4 Video Editing. To put everything together into a nursery rhyme video, I'll be using CapCut. To begin editing in CapCut, export your music track and gather all the video clips you want to use in the project. Next, drag all the video clips onto the timeline, then place the music track on the timeline below the video clips. Next, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 for a landscape format. Then, turn off the main track magnet so you can move the video clips freely along the timeline. Now, let's start editing the content of the song. All you need to do is listen to the music and drag in the video clips that match it. Please. If a video clip is longer than the part of the music it's meant to cover, trim the clip so it fits perfectly. For Apple. Make sure the timing of the video clips aligns with the music. With our feet. C is for cat who purrs all day. T is for dog who loves to play. Come sing the ABCs with me So much fun from A to Z Clap your hands and stomp your feet Learning letters is so neat F is for fish who swims away Continue matching each video clip to the music G is for giraffe so tall and high Trim any extra footage so the clips align perfectly with the timing of the song Repeat this process until you reach the end of the track. I'll fast forward now to save time, so don't worry, just keep matching each video to the music and trimming the excess. This is just a sped up version of the same steps. This is simply a quick look at the same process. Next, shift everything to the right to leave room for the song title. Then, place a video clip at the very start of the timeline to use as the intro. Go to text and drag a default text box onto the timeline. Replace the default text with your song title. Then, go to effects to choose a text style. Just select the style you want and it will be applied automatically. Next, go to animation and add an animation to the title by simply clicking on your preferred animation, which will automatically apply it to your text. To add intro audio, go to audio, click on sound effects, search for kids intro, and drag your chosen sound effect into the timeline.
Next, add a voiceover to the title. Click on the title text, then select text to speech. Choose the voice you'd like to use for the voiceover. Click ABC on your preferred song. voice, and then click generate voice. Wait a few seconds for it to process, and the voiceover will appear below your title text. Now your intro title is complete. ABC song. Now, drag the edited content so it connects seamlessly to the intro title. Next, add captions to your video. Go to text and drag a default text box onto the timeline. Then, go back to your lyrics, copy the first line of the song, and paste it into the text box in CapCut. Resize and position the text on the video where it fits best. Use text effects to style the text and add some movement by choosing an animation. This text style will serve as your guide for the rest of the song. Just copy this text box and paste it onto the next video clip, then replace the text with the next line of the song. Just keep repeating this process for each line of the song. Copy the text box, paste it onto the next video clip, and replace the text with the next line of lyrics. Keep doing this until all the captions match up with your video clips. I'll fast forward through this part so you're not waiting, but don't worry, it's just the same process as before, just sped up. Once you've finished adding captions to the video, preview the entire project to check for any errors or timing issues. If you spot any, fix them right away. ABC song. K is for apple, G C and sweet. B is for ball that we kick with our feet. C is for cat who purrs all day. D is for dog who loves to play. When everything looks good, it's time to export your project. Go to export. Enter a file name for your video. Choose the folder where you want to save it, make sure the resolution is set to 1080p for better quality, and select the MP4 format. Finally, click Export. Just wait a moment for your video to finish exporting. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the final video we've created. ABC Song With our feet. C is for cat who purrs all day. T is for dog who loves to play. Come sing the ABCs with me. So much fun from A to Z. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Learning letters is so neat. E is for elephant, big and gray. F is for fish who swims away. G is for giraffe, so tall and high. H is for hat we wear up high. Come sing the ABCs with me. So much fun from So neat. I is for ice cream, cold and yummy. J is for juice, good in my tummy. K is for kite flying in the sky. L is for lion here and roar by. M is for monkey swinging in trees. N is for nest with birds and leaves. O is for octopus deep in the sea. P is for panda munching bamboo happily. Come sing the ABCs with me. So much fun from A to Z. Clap your hands and stomp your feet. Learning letters is so neat. Q is for queen, wearing her crown. R is for rainbow colors all around. S is for sun, shining so bright. T is for train chugging day and night. U is for umbrella, when it rains. B is for violin, sweet music plays. W is for whale, splashing in the sea. X is for xylophone, play a melody. Y is for yo-yo, up and down it goes. Z is for zebra, with stripes in rows. Now we sung our ABC. Wasn't that fun? Is so neat. 
ABC and now we know Next time faster, here we go Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.